Well, these are exercises I, I normally recommend to people uh, if they've got lower back problem or lower back uh, lock where the muscles are very tight around your lower back. So I recommend these exercises people to do it. And uh, if you practice them regularly, I can guarantee you that your lower back will not get locked and, uh, and you shouldn't have a lower back problem. Yeah. You have to do it in the beginning, not when you have a lower back. Okay, some people, they get, uh, they got, uh, too much pain and then they can't do these exercises. So I recommend before, you know, if you practice them maybe two, three times a week, your back should not be locked and it should stay, stay supple enough to uh, so you don't get you don't get a back problems yeah so from here so first one these exercise from here to here so you can hold it there or you can hold it here it doesn't matter yeah you can hold it there and you can bounce a little bit as well if you if you can but if you want to hold it there you just have to see your level and practice like that yeah so you can hold it one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes until you feel a stretch in your lower back, your lower back erectile muscles, muscles and so on. So that's number one. Very good exercise. And then the second exercise, you bring your feet in and then you stretch forward again. This involves your side of the muscles, your QL muscles to stretch, which holds your spine. And your hip bone so again hold it there or you can bounce a little bit you go forward and backward yeah again two three minutes if you do that it's a very good stretch and then you do the other side i'll just go quickly so you, you can see Oops, again you can hold it or you can bounce a little bit it depends on your level if what, what but idea is not to overdo it if you overdo it you might you know um, stretch the muscle too far then it's a problem so whatever your level is you can work from that yeah so it's good stretch on the side here you just turn it a little bit and then this is also responsible for your lower back pain because QL is a very powerful muscle and once it gets tight, it's very difficult to release it. It takes a long time. So if you do this exercise to stretch it and keep it stretched uh, into a nice normal posi uh, position, then you shouldn't get it locked. Yeah. And the next exercise is your rotation here. So here you, you rotate your lower back and you rotate a in your hip you're stretching it again these rotators are also responsible for your lower back pain so make sure you stretch them so keep them nice and supple so again you can bounce it a little bit or you can hold it there yeah, it's no problem so hold it a couple of minutes two three minutes however you feel happy yeah, and exercise from here straight, you go down, you hold it. Here, this is a very good exercise because you're stretching all the nerves right from your foot to your neck, all the way back up, up from up to down. Yeah, because these nerves, when they get tight in the muscles, that can also cause you lower back pain. So you, again, just hold it or you can bounce a little bit anyhow you're happy yeah just stretch it just hold it breathe normal and so on until you can see your calf and your hamstrings your low back start to feel release releasing the tension here the foot should you should pull it towards you so you, you have a good stress on your a stretch on your calf muscles as well okay hold it and then again you hold it two three minutes yeah and then you do the other side highly recommended for people who have a low, low back problems again stretch it you're stretching your lower part of the uh, rotating the lower part of the spine and you're stretching the rotators in your hip again both are responsible for your lower back problems yeah
So once you've done it for a couple of minutes, and then you do the stretch here. Here, make sure your foot, you're pulling towards you. So you're stretching your calf muscles and all the nerves which is connected from foot to your head. You can bounce a little bit, you know, or you can hold it, depending on your level, whatever you can do it, yeah. So this is a good stretch. Another easy stretch from here, you also you can do is hold it like this, where you stretch all your rotators, yeah. But if you can, the next exercise, if you can do it this way, which is much better. From here, put your leg here, and then you put your hand on top, and then grab, and then just, just relax there. And if your rotators is tight in the hip, you should feel a good stretch there. And just hold it. Because these rotators are responsible for your lower back problems, you know, for your sciatica problem and so on. Very good stretches, these things, yeah, these exercises. So you can, depending on your level, you can bring your foot down, whatever you can, yeah. But you just relax it there if you, if you feel they're tight. Because minimum level, you should hold it more than three minutes. Because that's when the nervous system tells the body or the muscles to stretch. So then again, you do the same on the other side. Pull it here. Put your hand and just go back. And just stay there, yeah. Feel the stretch. Again, hold it for three minutes and then you repeat this again, same thing, repeat it. Go again here down, you should feel better now. Yeah, stretch it a bit more further up and then repeat the same exercises again. You do, do, the, do that two, three times, you should feel your lower back released and you should not have a lower back problems. So highly recommended people who tend to get uh, stiffness in their lower back or lower back problems.